less. There are so many different things. Da, da, da. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherry Cheeks. Maybe you've seen burlesque, maybe you haven't. Maybe you're finding your way and trying to figure out what's my style? Where do I fit in? Well, today we're going to go over that and more to help you find your burlesque style or even the different styles that exist within burlesque. There's a lot of things to talk about today, so I'm just gonna jump right in. First of all, we have one of the core genres of burlesque, which is what a lot of people who think about burlesque think of, um, especially if you're not in the scene but you've heard of burlesque, is classic burlesque. Classic burlesque is often emphasized with lots of sparkle, glamour and tease and seduction and that is the core of classic burlesque. Traditionally it was about the audience and seducing the audience. Really you had to have the audience's attention. Often some of the things you'll see are very slow, subtle movements, bumps and grinds. Often you'll see costume pieces that are associated with classic burlesque, are things like triangle bars, panel skirts, corsets. Uh, often you'll also see props used in classic burlesque like big feather fans, big hair pieces, head dresses. Uh, it's really, if you see showgirls or chorus lines, those are often very inspired and, and a similar style to classic burlesque. And the thing with classic burlesque is that's where burlesque started. So back when we had burlesque legends, when they first started, and when burlesque was just kind of getting found in the late 1800s, and it eventually turned into striptease, when we see a lot of that, that's what we see today is classic burlesque. So often performers will perform it and stick to that style because either they like it, they really enjoy it, maybe they want to have an ode to the past and honor our burlesque legends and the trailblazers before us, and maybe they want to give themselves a chance it's still something that we see a lot of. We have competitions for classic burlesque and we have a lot of festivals that focus around classic burlesque but you can also innovate it and there's a lot of classic burlesque routines I've seen that have been super super innovative and some of the things that you see with them are ridiculous and there's even some kind some routines that kind of blend between classic and neo and there's a lot of blurred kind of gray uh, areas where maybe you see a routine and you're like is this classic is this neo maybe it's both so many of our routines can fit in more than one style which i think is super super cool and so when we come from classic burlesque everything that's not classic nowadays is what we have uh, generally it's a really big blanket term is called neo burlesque and so neo burlesque is new age burlesque and it encompasses a lot of different genres underneath it so diverse and so beautiful and so cool to see what some people do with it there's some cool routines where maybe they don't really have a style within these other styles i'm going to talk about but they're definitely neo so some of those things you may see are things like aliens or space or puppets or circus in burlesque and people incorporating things like clowning, aerial, not something you would traditionally think of as burlesque or to be in an act. Inside that neo kind of umbrella we have nordlesque and nordlesque is one of the biggest fandoms you will ever see <laughs> in burlesque. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is burlesque for nords. Anyone who has a fandom whether it's video games, movies, TV shows, books, anything that kind of has a following, you're gonna put that in a burlesque routine. There's so many different things that you can do with it and there's festivals around just Nordlesque. It's kind of ridiculous because even if people don't know about Borlesque, Nordlesque is one of those things, if you have it on a poster and you advertise it publicly, you're gonna get the most random audience that you have probably ever had as a producer. Most audiences tend to be the same and you tend to see the same people at every single show, no matter what style you might be doing as a producer. Because of Nordlesque and because it's such a cult following, you'll just get all these brand new audience members who you may have never seen before and it's super cool seeing some of the things that people do with it. Something to kind of transition a little bit is sometimes you get people doing things that are political. You'll see lots of political burlesque. Some people like to have their routines that are really personal to them and they tell a story. Maybe it's a really big expression of their life or where they've been or their journey. Maybe it's something that they just need people in the audience to connect with or maybe they need to bring awareness to a big issue that's going on. It's really incredible. I know a lot of performers bringing some really really big powerful things to burlesque. I love seeing politics in burlesque. It is eye-opening. To me art is 
more than what you do on stage. It is how you carry yourself off the stage as well, just as much as how you carry yourself on stage. And then there's one burlesque type that we might see a little bit less of. Uh, there's one genre that is quite niche, but within those communities it is also huge, is gorelesque. That is characterized by, uh, if you think of like scary movies or horror or suspense, anything that applies to scary movies also applies to gorlesque. Halloween shows might be themed around this, or there just might be a lot of acts around that. Gorlesque tends to focus on that kind of suspense and twisted and really sick element that a lot of people enjoy. And then we also have what we call boylesque. Boylesque is a term that we use for male or male presenting performers. From conversations that I've had with male performers or male presenting performers, or even conversations I've listened to. A lot of people don't like to use it because they want to think of themselves as we're burlesque performers, we're not anything different than females or female presenting performers, and having an, a separate title makes it feel like it's very either othered, even though it is a predominantly female performance space. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe people think that, oh, like, man-lesque or boy-lesque is more special because it's a novelty. There can be a lot of interesting dynamics with it. The audiences tend to be very different, and sometimes because it's a man or a male presenting person on stage, sometimes your audiences might treat them differently than if it was a, f a female on stage. There's a lot of things that we encourage our audiences to do, like cheer and go wild, cheer and clap and woo! <laughs> and there's lots of things we don't encourage, make sure there's consent, where there's a lot of times that can just go out the window. There's also history with that as well. For black men, that was also a degrading term, is calling a grown black man a boy. That's why some people also don't like to use that. Just something to be aware of while you're in the community is you might see some people talking about boylesque and that is what it is. And there's a lot of dynamics and conversation around it. So yeah, I highly encourage you to check it out. We have draglesque, which is drag and burlesque mushed together in a beautiful symphony. We have a huge history of intertwining between burlesque and drag and circus and comedy and a lot of these kinds of performing arts. And so a lot of the things that you see today with burlesque, like the big hair, lots of us have huge wigs that we wear, uh, lots of us have really dramatic makeup. A lot of that is heavily in influenced from drag. So with drag lesque, you tend to see drag performers or burlesque performers in drag. There's a lot of mixing. Some people will focus mainly on the performance and the burlesque aspect with the striptease and your costuming, while some of them will blend the two and they'll do lip syncing as well. They'll lip sync, they'll have that big makeup, they'll have that big drag persona on, and it's really, really cool and fun. We also have what a lot of people think of as the Vegas showgirl is the showgirl <laughs> or the chorus line and so those are the ladies that you tend to see either doing can can or the big feather headdresses often there's a group in a line doing like the whole dancey dance 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 that, that's huge in europe we have a, it also in north america and those to me those are show stopping shows <laughs> those include a lot of choreography, maybe there's more than just that one performer on stage. Maybe you have a whole backup dance crew who will be performing with you. Typically it's super glamorous. It's usually a whole phenomena um, and it's not just one act, it's like a whole show around, based around this one performer. So that's basically everything I have for today. Those are some of the main styles that you tend to see in burlesque. There is definitely more than that I did not talk about today. Burlesque is a huge performance style full of all these little pockets and I love burlesque because the longer I'm in it the more pockets I tend to find that I fall deeply deeply in love with and I just every single day fall in love with it more and more. There's just so much to see it's impossible to categorize everything in one video uh, so I just I hope I did a little bit of justice today and I would love to hear from you. What kinds of styles of burlesque do you like? Whether that's watching, what are some of your favorite styles to watch or even what are some of your favorite styles to perform if you do perform. Maybe if you have a specific act that would be super cool to hear about too is what are one of your favorite acts. Uh, there's just so many things you could talk about with burlesque styles and just burlesque in general so I would love to hear from you down below and otherwise I look forward to seeing you next time if you want to see more burlesque videos from me feel free to subscribe hit that cowbell down below and you'll get notified next time I upload and yeah otherwise I will see you soon <laughs> bye